What's up, it's your homeboy, the real little sneaks. And I'd like to share with you all a story if you like if you like to hear it. And that is um before I started doing my thing of Good and Evil Inc., uh, before Double Filo, before DPH Records and some of the closest homies know about that. <laughs> um I'd like to tell you a story about um, how I almost got signed to a record label called uh, Down For My Shit Records and how that connection came about and what was talked about too. Well, as a youngster, before Little Sneaks, before I, before I was Little Sneaks into the game and got serious with it and became who I am now, I was going about, I was, uh, I had a different name and that name was right here. Do you know what this is? <laughs> it's the tapes, but I was going by Creeper. Also with the homie Little Speedy at that time, who I was rapping with, and you know we're just going about hustling this, passing these around, recording it on tape recorders. But that could be other stories I could tell about. But right now it's about from uh, how I almost got signed to Down from My Shit Records, or at least I thought at that point in time I was. So now that you know, I used to be called Creeper. Um, I got kicked out of a Royal, went to Valley Lindo High School, which is like a continuation school, people trying to get creators, trouble kids, you know, kind of like a dangerous mind type of thing. Um, <laughs> at that time, because there was nothing but bungalows, there's nothing like the way it is now have, that can change in the name and make it to an actual high school. But when I was there, doing my thing, rapping, you know, I had tapes, doing my thing, but since I was there, I was there, you know, doing the school thing, well, he's trying to. I was uh, one day we in the homies where I was just chilling out on the tables right there, and it happened to be a couple of group doing their community service. They were cleaning and doing what they do. There was this one guy in in that group that said, "Hey, you guys listen to music? Something like that about like in the ends about you guys hear music? We're like, yeah, of course, you know." And then he's all like, "Hey, well check this out," and presents this CD right here. And this is the, I don't have the physical CD because it was many years ago, but this was the CD cover which you gave me. It was an actual physical CD. And the one who I met and gave me the CD. Was this on me right here. I can't recall your name, bro. And sorry that I don't. It's been many years. And I was trying to find it over here, but this is the only cover that I can see uh, in search for this to tell the story. So um, that homie, he gave me the CD, and I was as I was looking at the CD, because I was like, oh, you know, just kind of like, just shocked by it, you know, around that time, me just here I am with the tape, and here I am seeing the CD and everything like that, you know, so just seeing my rasa, my people doing this, and because I want to be involved in this. One of the homies I was with at the time said, hey, this homie raps, which was me, you know, and that guy got that guy got curious. He said, oh, you do. Yeah, you got anything I could check out? And I said, well, yeah, but it's no CD. I have a tape, but it's not with me. You know what I mean? If anything, if you're here tomorrow, I could bring it tomorrow. And he's like, well, yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Come bring it, blah, blah, blah. And then the next day came about. I had my tape ready. I was just looking for. I was just looking for just for this this homie, just to give him the CD. Cause I was. I was just give him my tape. Cause I was like, man, hopefully this could be the chance, you know. Cause all that hustling, this was a feeling for me that was like, wow. Cause just seeing the CD, being able to kind of like picture my face, all that, all the music behind it, you know, just the whole music thing, the whole music um vibe and just to hopefully benefit off of it and help the family and everything like that. Uh, what do you call him? So I was given the, the cassette the next day. It was about like a few days after when I gave him the tape. It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long while after. Me and the homies were chilling and I believe it was the homie Risky, homie Troubles, uh, Castro, um, I, I, but I know some other hits too, but I can't recall those times, but I know those homies were with me. Um, we're going back to my pad from doing something. <laughs> I just can't recall. And then we go to my pad. I guess we're about to blaze it, chill like we normally do at my spot at that point in time. Uh, or hear beats or something like that. Uh, I get a call because I give that homie my phone number because he ever wanted to get in contact with me. So I get a call and it happened to be in the, at the house number. So I answered it. And who I talked to was uh, Mr. Chino. 
which is um in that cover right there and i guess he was a ceo at that time or the owner of it i don't know um but uh, it was mr mr chino so me and him were talking for like a little minute while my homies were there and i'm over here like all right cool and the questions he asked me was hey what kind of beats you like do you like this do you like old these you like uh hardcore this or that and i was like man well because of my style the sound of my voice and what i feel i could bring i like story type of beats dark beats you know just something i could like really you know uh hit home with and it's like all right cool you know the conversation was cool about certain music topics and one thing that stood out to me because Pocos Pero Locos at that time was like big I guess or was popping because I used to hear it you know what I mean and I know a lot of people I know used to hear it we used to love that shit and he was telling me that all right I like the tape you know what I mean I like to see how you sound in the studio we're gonna come I'd like to go pick you up at a certain a certain day and time we could set it up we could go to Pocos Pero Locos this and that like it was all like he was already like taking me in like okay I'm gonna be involved with all this like like all right cool we're gonna make it happen and after when we ended it, uh, that talk, that was uh, the last time I ever had that talk with them or seen the other homie. There were certain times maybe I could have reached out or done something and maybe kind of been like, hey man, whatever happened to this? Or, you know what I mean? Um, I was that dude, you know, who sent you this, this tape. But I never did. I just went by, I just rolled on from what I was doing and went about it. But another fun fact, the other people who used to send these actual tapes, uh, so I gave one down for my shit records. I sent one to low profile records at that time. I think Latino Jam records at that time. Uh, Thump records at that time. If, you know, like I was just looking behind the CDs, bro, and, and looking at that, or like if uh, access to a computer, I was looking, uh, uh, just a certain email I could send demos and just just sending them I'm, bro I even try to send some uh, send one to Death Row Records you know what I mean just because I who didn't want to be a part of something like that and the way of I love music and the way I saw myself I, I saw myself as could be big like that you know what I mean doesn't mean I can't still but at the same time I'm not a youngster like that no more you know but I still love doing music and I still will do music and I thank you guys and all of you who hear my music, love my music, bump my music, share my music, and still continue to support it. And that's a little fun story about it, a little fun fact about me, how I used to be called Creeper before <laughs> I became little sneaks in the game. And that's my story. And for Down For My Shit Records, hopefully those guys and you homies are doing well. Uh, Mr. Chino, if you see this, Hey, the Creeper, and now it's me, Little Sneaks. You know what I mean? Much love and respect. And hopefully one day, if you guys still do music, who knows? We could click up, do music, and by all means, with me, we will be all good. You know what I mean? Much love and respect. And I'm out. On to the next one. Salud, homies. <laughs>